how can a regular pranayama practice help me get through this corona virus threat? For the answer, stay tuned. Pranayama, yogic breathing practices, are one of the most important tools in the yoga toolbox and unfortunately a tool that too many people including many yoga teachers are not doing regularly this is a big mistake and particularly now when we're dealing with a potentially deadly respiratory virus things that we can do to strengthen our lungs strengthen our breathing capacity uh, can be particularly important and of course pranayama can also help us deal with Ayurvedic imbalances, it can help us calm the nervous system, it has many, many uses. There are two main purposes that I think are particularly important right now when we're talking about dealing with this pandemic. One is we want to strengthen the function of our diaphragm. And the second is we want to increase our breath capacity. And by that, I don't mean how big a breath you can take. I mean how slowly you can breathe. Because the slower you can breathe, the better it is for your nervous system and the better it is for your body over time. Now, with all pranayama, it's actually really important that you not try to jump ahead too quickly, that you move slowly. Because of the profound link of the breath and the nervous system, if you move too quickly trying to hold your breath for long periods of time that your body's really not ready for it can put your nervous system out of whack because of the connection of the nervous system and the breath so please be careful with these practices you want to work ideally with supervision of someone who knows what they're doing if it's available to you but in any case to move slowly to stay within your comfort zone push the edge a tiny bit, monitor how you do, and then if it goes well for a number of weeks, considering pushing the edge a little bit more. I've been doing pranayama daily for 20 years, and I'm still working on slowly increasing my breath capacity. Slower inhalations, slower exhalations, and longer pauses both after the inhalation and exhalation but i didn't jump to that right away that took me many years so again please don't rush this okay now strengthening the diaphragm the major way we do this with pranayama is by offering resistance to the inflow of air and we can do this in two major ways one is with ujjayi breath with ujjayi breath, we're narrowing our vocal cords, which then restricts how much air can move in and out, allows us to regulate finally how slowly we're breathing. Okay, because of this added resistance, and by the way, just breathing through the nose, which is part of yoga practice, is also offering quite a bit of extra resistance to the inhalation as compared to breathing through the mouth, which we don't encourage. Okay, so breathing through the nose and then adding ujjayi on top of it, both increase the resistance to bring the air in. They force the diaphragm to work harder. That's good for the diaphragm. Many people, including even athletes, have less than optimal diaphragm strength. And so regular pranayama is a way you increase diaphragm strength. The slower the breath, the more you have to narrow the vocal cords, the more resistance you create. Now, the other way in pranayama that we increase the resistance is by using the fingers to block the nose. Now, many of us have learned to you know, use the thumb to block one side of the nose and maybe the fourth finger to block the other side of the nose to go back and forth. In other words, kind of inhale like this and exhale like this. But, but the problem with this is that it's actually not offering any extra 
resistance to the inflow of air. And ideally, you're actually not doing ujjayi when you're doing alternate nostril breathing. So you're not getting it there either. So what I recommend is a technique called valving. And basically what this involves doing is I use the thumb and I use the pad of the thumb to block the right nostril. And then if I'm going to inhale through the left nostril, and, and by the way, <clears throat> alternate nostril breathing is the practice I'm going to demonstrate here, which has benefits in reducing vata, very nice for the nervous system. I think it's an excellent practice to be doing right now. And it's, it's appropriate for almost everybody as long as you're able to sit up comfortably straight. Okay. So then blocking with the thumb, the pad of the thumb, the right nostril, I'll use the tip of the ring finger to just push on this area right beneath. You feel the nasal bone move down until you get to the soft area. Just a little pressure there regulates the flow. So then I'll inhale. And that added resistance strengthens the diaphragm, particularly on the side you're inhaling, that half of the diaphragm. Then I'll pat, use the pad of my left hand to block and the tip of my thumb on the opposite side. Exhaling, then inhaling on the right side. And then blocking with the pad here, tip here, to valve on the left nostril. So that's the basic idea. Pad of the thumb blocks the nostril. Tip of the thumb valves the nostril. On the other side, pad of the fourth finger blocks the nostril. And then when it's time to use the tip, move it up to that area. So you're going from here to here and from here to here. That little bit of movement as you do alternate nostril breathing. Let me demonstrate it one more time without talking. So that is one round, two breaths of alternate nostril breathing, Nani Shodhana. I can already feel myself feeling a little calmer just from doing it a few times I've done in this demonstration. So do your Ujjayi breath, do alternate nostril breathing if it's appropriate for you. Don't be too aggressive but try to make these part of your daily regimen. What I recommend is that right after asana, right when you come out of Shavasana, sit up for a few minutes and do your pranayama then. And if it's alternate nostril breathing, that's often a wonderful prelude to meditation, another really wonderful yogic practice to help during this challenging time. My very best to you all. Take good care. Stay mighty. Namaste. Namaste.